Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Good morning from me and my brown hair, first of all, y'all. I know y'all like, girl, you're just gonna keep dyeing your hair, but honestly, that's my life right now. Like, my hair was looking such a mess. My hair was looking such a mess, and I just felt like it needed a change. But I didn't want to go back black. So I did brown, but I didn't do like a lighter brown. I did like a chocolate brown because I was gonna do light brown, y'all. And I got nervous because my hair was already so like unevenly colored from the like auburn color that I did. So I'm like, if I do just a light brown and my hair is already kind of like light in some spots, I feel like it won't color right. So I just got like a rich chocolate brown I use box dye, cream of nature, my absolute favorite type of dye. It always has my hair looking so bomb afterwards. Like my hair doesn't like dry up. My curls always pop after coloring my hair. Like some people think like your hair is like damaged and stuff after you color it, but that's really after you bleach it, I feel like, even though the box dyes kind of have sort of a little bit of bleach in it to, you know, change your hair color. But I never, ever, ever, go wrong with cream of nature so i did cream of nature when i dyed my hair my hair the year before i got pregnant so the year before last i did it with the auburn color i just had i did it with the black and now i got chocolatey brown and you could definitely see it more in the light as the light hitting the top of my head that it's brown so new hair color my hair is washed and blow dried i just have to flat iron it today whenever i get time yesterday i did addy's hair as far as washing it, deep conditioning and stuff like that. So her hair is washed, my hair is washed. I got to dye my hair yesterday. So yeah, I feel better. My hair doesn't look as crazy and you know, all these different colors is now all one color. So as I said, today is Monday and y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with Mondays. I love them because this is the day that Jordan finally gets to take Addie to school and I don't have to pack up Zay and you know, do all that. So he is gone right now doing that and he doesn't go to work until noon so i love mondays for that reason but i also hate it because this is his late working day so while he's gone doing that i'm gonna make me and zay some breakfast i'm probably gonna drink some chai honestly first before i make me some breakfast because i'm really feeling some caffeine right now as y'all saw i took my mary roots vitamin I want to say I've been taking it for mm, two to three weeks, I want to say. And I don't really notice a difference in my energy levels like some people say they do. But I am liking the fact that I'm getting tons of great vitamins and nutrients. And the fact that it's a clean brand and you just feel good anyways. Because I know I was lacking vitamins. I was taking my prenatals, but then I stopped taking those. And now I'm just taking the Mary Ruth. Took that and drank some water. Your girl is literally parched every time I wake up. I know this is my go-to combo for coffees and teas. Right now, I'm loving the Tezo, Tazo, how do you pronounce it? I say Tezo. Tezo Skinny Chai Latte. And I usually do my vanilla oat milk. And then my sweet, sweet, <laughs> sweet cream oat milk creamer, the best creamer goes with any flavor because it's literally just sweet cream so you can have any flavor of coffee or tea and it'll go great with it because it's just a sweet cream flavor my favorite thing ever is checking the dishwasher and seeing that my favorite cup is clean cheers Crazy girls home. I'm being crazy. As usual. So y'all, we got back home. Xavier literally didn't wake up till 12 o'clock. So I was able to have a little time still to myself and then get him up, get him ready. We are getting ready to go to the store, but I'm making Addie some quick lunch. She wanted lunch before we left. So I'm making her something and then we are gonna head out. I am forgetting that we need to go to TJ Maxx to return these jeans I bought yesterday, y'all. I need to return these jeans because I'm so sad. I got some jeans literally the same size. 
And these barely go past my butt. So we gotta go to TJ Maxx to return these jeans and I'm mad because I think it's about to start raining again. But I need to go do stuff. I need, I'd rather go do it now because they just woke up like an hour ago. So at least he won't go to sleep the whole time we out, hopefully. And he'll take his second nap once we get back home. So about to do that, we gotta go to TJ Maxx. We gotta go to Meyer. I was gonna go to Target, but Meyer actually has everything that we need that I'm thinking about for dinner tonight. And I wanna say that's it, I think, yeah. I think those are the only two errands we need. I would love to wash my car right now, but obviously it's about to start raining again. So it would be no point. So, let's go to the store. First stop, TJ Maxx. So we actually need new sheets. So I got a gift card for my return. And I'm trying to look for sheets, but the options are very limited here. Like, I don't know if I need, like if I want more white or try and gray, like a nudie color, but I don't see any that I really love, so. I'm not sure what to do. Like, they get this gray set, four piece king sheet set. It's like a grayish flat sheet, fitted sheet, two king pillowcases. I don't know if this will like match good though. We had gray sheets before, but more like a dark gray, not like this gray. Davey keep pulling this. I don't know why. He crazy. She crazy. Everybody crazy. And honestly, oh my god, it started raining. Mm, hair looking crazy. But I feel like I'm gonna just get candles instead of sheets because, you know, options are limited. <laughs> this is the perfect one. Date night. Could probably go in our room if it smells good. This one smells amazing. So we may do this one and another one. But I need, it's too many options, I don't know what to do. I really like these, cause it's three wick and they're big. So I honestly might find two of these and then call it a day. Next stop, last and final stop. Okay y'all, finally at our last and final stop. Look at a mess, cause it's been so crazy. Yeah. It keep misting on and off, it's too much. So, we did end up getting two candles out of TJ Maxx and they smell so good. So this one is by Sand and Fog. It is made with essential oils, hand poured, and a citrus sandalwood. Now Jordan and I love any and everything sandalwood, like scented sandalwood, the teak wood, all of that. So, mm, girl you can't even smell. A little bit. <laughs> This one smells so good, and it's four wick, y'all. Y'all can't even see it. It's like highly, like, oh, there it is. Four wick. And this one was only $15. This is why I love TJ Maxx. You can get these huge candles for cheap. And I love the ones made with essential oils, so it's not like all these crazy fumes in your house for no reason. And then this one I got for the kitchen slash living room, so y'all know it's like open concept so it like flows throughout and this one is also naturally scented and it's coconut and beeswax blend and this one is tangerine guava mm. it just smells so smells, fresh and springy it smells like tangerine yeah tangerine so i got that one for that because i'm like we're entering into spring within the next month so Definitely need that. So they they some two big ass heavy duty candles. At first I thought that was going to smell like vanilla. No, mommy didn't get vanilla. Oh, and then I got us some sheets. Finally out of Burlington. Oh my god, did they? Where the sheets go? Oh wait, that here. wasn't that wasn't the right bag. Then I just got us some sheets. Um, 
for the bed. These are, I'm about to focus it. The London Fog King sheets comes with six pieces, one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and four pillowcases. Even though we only have two pillows, it's good to have four. Because I still sleep with my pregnancy pillow. Like, it's comfortable for me and to feed Zay and stuff like my that. So, baby dude. Good. So, yeah, we got the gray and um, white checkered sheets and i'm mad because i actually just took our sheets off the bed to wash today and now i kind of want to put these on but that means i'm gonna have to wash these too so i think i'm gonna just put the sheets back on and then do these like it's when they get time. um you know it's time to change them again so that's what we got now we're gonna go inside meyer and get stuff for dinner i'm making this tortellini soup that i made before but it's so bomb and Jordan wanted me to make it again, so I luckily had the recipe still saved. So I got it, and we're gonna go get the stuff for it. Oh my god, that's kind of big. My package also literally just got to the house that I need to go get before it starts raining like crazy, but I honestly don't think it's gonna rain no more. Yeah. Because it said it was gonna stop at two, and it's about to be three. So, I need to fly iron my hair. I can't wait to fly iron it, it looks so crazy, but. Let's go in my ear. So we not wasting no more time. Okay. Say my ear. First stop, Zavy's favorite. And they on sale. Strawberry. Strawberry. Your girl just did something to finesse the hair. No, it is still not done. It is still not flat ironed. It is still looking poofy as ever. But you know, we be having other things to do. I'm like, I'm gonna get my hair done. I'm definitely gonna get it done this week. Like at the end of the week or something like that. But right now, we just gonna have to do what it do. I'm about to do my skincare real quick. Zavi is sleeping for now. And I have to get Addie's room clean today, y'all. Yesterday was a cleaning day. I got so much done. Literally got the kitchen, dining, and living room cleaned. As far as like counters, dishes, of course, sweeping, mopping, vacuuming. I got our room cleaned, which was in desperate need of some dusting, y'all. When I tell you the dust was outrageous, I was so embarrassed. Literally, I need to go get like a duster, something, because I'm like, why is this so much fucking dust? So, definitely need to go do that, but I got that done yesterday, deep cleaned our room, changed our sheets. Still don't know how I feel about the sheets that I got for our room that we picked up the other day. I feel like it's because it's a pattern, and we've been just buying plain colored sheets for our room you know for our bed and i'm just like i don't know how i feel about the square pattern i don't know we slept on it last night and i kind of just stared at it after i put it on our bed <laughs> and i'm just like do i like this jordan this morning he like okay rate the new sheets one out of ten and you can't say seven i'm like what because i was literally gonna say seven <laughs> so i'm like okay if i can't say seven then i'm gonna say six because eight i feel like it's kind of pushing it and I only said that because of the pattern. Like I just felt like, I don't know what I felt like. I just felt like, like it could have, like it could be better. I don't know. But yesterday was only the first night of sleeping on them. So I'm like, I'm just gonna marinate for a little bit. And then see, you know, because yeah, I just, I don't know child. 
y'all i got this bomb like it's like a i don't even know if i want to call it a sports bra don't don't mind the unevenness y'all y'all know what i'm going through but it is so cute it's like by this brand what is it i literally just put the tag in the garbage but it's j o and co i thought it was joe and co but it's like a period between the j and the o so i feel like it's j o and co but this brand at um tj maxx so bomb it's so like and i still got room it's comfy and you know i could breastfeed in it comfortably like and i got it in i want to say three different colors definitely need to go back and find some more because these are so comfy and this is like the size extra small small which i didn't think would be like still enough room in but it definitely is i'm like girl and i think it was only like ten dollars or something each one that i found was like ten dollars and under so if y'all got a tj maxx girl you gotta go check out this brand but yeah y'all so yesterday we didn't do nothing but clean 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 today i have to clean the kids room mostly addie's because hers looks a freaking mess and then i need to clean out their drawers so bad spring is about to be here in a couple weeks i'm so excited but i need so badly to get rid of their smaller clothes because we about to be buying brand new wardrobes basically for both of them they have nothing they can fit definitely zay because y'all know he was just born last year so he definitely can't fit nothing from last year from spring summer so he about to need a whole new wardrobe addy got some stuff but she's so long y'all i'm <sighs> definitely about to go have to go shopping for her immediately for spring and summer stuff so we're just about to go through everything and then go to one of our favorite like thrift type stores for them and just get like some things that you know i could find either on sale i'm gonna sell their things and just see what we can find i really want to find zay a blue jean jacket y'all so bad and they have so many the store that i'm talking about is once upon a child i've talked about them before and i just feel like it's so much stuff there that you can get brand new and y'all know kids especially zay's age they wear stuff like two times and then grown out of it like literally some stuff i even got for him from there he's worn only a couple times because he grown so quick i bought him some vans from there y'all brand new vans i think he only wore them for this picture and that's it he didn't even get to wear them out that's how fast his foot grew so i'm like what the heck those vans y'all i want to say i paid like ten dollars for and y'all know them baby vans running how much girl i'm like what i bought him some brand new air force ones ten dollars i'm like what some crocs i bought him some crocs i think those were like nine ten dollars girl if you got a once upon a child in your area you might as well because what's the point of paying full price for these kitty shoes that they about to grow out of in a month so we definitely gonna go and check them out more so for Zay because with Addie, I like buying her stuff brand new because you know how kids, especially if your kid is long like Addie, their stuff when you tend to wash it and then it can shrink. So I kind of rather buy her stuff brand new. She's gotten a few things from here like jackets, stuff like that, that you know would be easy enough to buy from here. But yeah, so I am quickly getting ready. Then we about to start on her room. Wait for this boy to wake up and then get the few little things out of his room that i want to give away and then yeah we gonna head out enjoy the day because i believe it is like in the 50s today it's definitely giving spring and i'm so excited i've been needing some like warmer weather in my life like that's how it is out here in the midwest I know other places like it's funny because I follow a few people from Texas and they be saying how like 40 and 50 is so cold to them and out here in the Midwest girl <laughs> we can't wait for 40 and 50 degree weather is it like 40 and 50 degree weather for us is like I'm gonna go outside and this and be like summer's here <laughs> I can't wait because it's about to start getting so much nicer outside I just told my best friend I'm like I'm so ready for you know the good weather sunny like i hate it being the like rainy and gloomy out every day it's 
Stop playing with me. So depressing. So skincare is done. I have to wash my hands for the 30th time. And then we about to get into Addie's room. You could definitely tell that my hair is brown now. Like it still did like a little ombre effect ish, but you could definitely tell it's brown. So this is our room before. Messy, crazy, toys everywhere. She got hella stuff under her bed for no reason. Like this is what she does. And I be deep cleaning her room so good. And then she does this. These are all clean clothes that need to get folded. She hung her dresses up. Still look crazy. That is gonna get thrown away. She needs a new one. Garbage. Oh, and now Xavier is awake. So we um didn't get anything done before he woke up besides me. Right? Yeah. Okay. So what you're about to do is I'm about to put these clean clothes on your bed. And you about to start folding them. And I'm about to get this boy and about to start things that are on the floor. Okay? Say hi, baby boy. You don't want to say hi? <coughs> what? It's okay. Say hi, guys. I woke up from my nap. Had a good nap. <laughs> <laughs> what? You smile? Hmm? Handsome butt. <laughs> so y'all, this is what my room looks like. Does it look great? It looks perfectly great. Yeah, so... Um... It's not just me who cleaned my room. It was me and mommy. She helped me clean my room. I was folding my clothes. She was working on the stuff that was on the floor. But now the stuff is clean. And all of my dolls are sitting on my bed looking confused. And this is what we try and this is what we put all my toys in. This is my princess spot. Pony spot, pony spot. This is this is my stocking, and this is my ballerina. Or it's not focusing. It's not focusing. It's not focusing. I'm a ballerina, ballerina eyes out. And look at me in the mirror. Hi y'all. I'll see you later, y'all. Bye. Not my bang then turned into a braid, y'all. We were cleaning up that room and it was getting a bit intense, but as y'all saw, we are finally done with the damn room. It is two o'clock. It is such a nice day outside, so we are going to go to Dairy Queen and get some food and some ice cream. And then um, we're actually gonna go with my mom and go try Zay on some jeans and some shorts and stuff to see what size he's in for this spring because y'all know his size. He actually, where you at? Is he coming down here? Yeah, there you go. Y'all see all the mess that came out of Addy's room? Gotta get thrown away. But he actually has on some 12 month jeans right now that actually fit, but they fit fit. And I know like once it started really getting nice outside, he's not gonna be in that size. Look what this girl then came home and put on. Pajamas? Pajamas, some flats, oh. and a cape. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> My hair looks so crazy. But hey y'all, we're back at home. We did not vlog while we were out because we were just kind of there just looking around and stuff nothing too crazy but we found cole did not have nothing cute for addy no but she got one outfit unicorn shirt with short you're gonna put that in your bag actually and then we just found like random shorts and stuff for zay like they had a good sale on different things two dollars four dollars like, so we got like stuff, and we got 18 months for him. Some stuff we got 24, because it's like, I don't know, like, I feel like in a couple months, he'll still be in like 18, getting up into 24. We'll really see once like May and June comes. But like denim shorts, literally these are only $4.80. Like, and my mom only paid like $40 for all this stuff. 
So we got such a good deal at Kohl's for Zay, y'all. I don't know. I feel like we probably showed him this, but he had the same exact outfit when he was only a newborn. You had the outfit when he was a newborn too. Look. I think that's right. But yeah. So those are just a few things that we found for him. I love the cute little like rompers like for the boys. So cute. And I only like certain patterns and stuff. So as you can see, everything we got. No cars, no dinosaurs, no. I'm so tired of all that stuff for boys. Like, why do they think boys just want to wear cars and dinosaurs and stuff all the time? Like, cars, cars, not for me. Dinosaurs, not for me. Just princesses, unicorns, princesses, unicorns. Girl. And, and all that stuff. Like, today I love he just had on his nice little long john type, like, ah! regular gray shirt. He had on some jeans. And then his white walking shoes. It's like plain stuff. Like, not everything gotta be just character, dinosaurs, cars, everything. I don't know, so, yeah. We did that, and then my mom just ran into Ulta. Addie, she got her some new lip gloss. Blue lip gloss. Some some lip, right this now. boy. He see his, um, girl. This boy just see his food is readily available and think it's time to eat when it's not. So Jordan is at Target, picking up a few things. I then he's gonna be home. But that's it for today, y'all. We're not doing nothing but chilling in the house. Good morning, guys, and happy Thursday. Your girl is on our way to her nail appointment, cause girl, it's time to get rid of these Valentine's Day nails, okay? Okay. As y'all can see, I finally, finally flat iron my hair. I felt like last night I was such, like, in a on a mission to flat iron my hair, cause I'm like, girl, your hair looking so crazy. Let's do something to it. So I finally was able to flat iron it while Zay was asleep. And I just feel so much better, you know? Hair's done, now I feel so much together. About to get my nails done. And then, yeah, we're almost at the nail appointment. I'm getting these super cute, girly, pinky nails. I'm always trying to incorporate some type of pink in my nails. I've been trying to stray away from the pink and do other colors, which I've actually been doing pretty good with. But there's something about the pink, you know? I went on Pinterest a couple days ago, and I'm like, Looking up nail ideas, cause Instagram lately been doing me bogus. Like, can't find no cute nail ideas on Instagram. So of course, Pinterest always comes through, and I found these really cute ones that I'll show y'all once I get them done. <gasps> oh my god! And yeah, y'all. So let me get in here. Oh, please. Let me get in here, get my nails done, and I'll show y'all the finished look. Because, like I said, I want to be consistent and getting this up for y'all on Sundays. So, I really hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Oh, also, let me know because I've been thinking about this last night. So, I was looking at my watch time, you know, my analytics for YouTube and seeing, like, the average duration that people view videos. And it's, like, between 10 and 15 minutes. So, it's, like, not everybody watches the full vlog or people come back to the vlog and watch it. Because I know, personally, I do that myself. If I'm watching a really long vlog, sometimes life gets in the way and I forget about the video. And like I get through half of it and I come back later, like either later in the day or the next day when I got more like downtime. So I get it, people have jobs, people are moms, people are busy and stuff like that. So let me know if y'all like vlogs longer than 20 minutes or shorter than 20 minutes. Like which one is more convenient because I feel like I'm gonna try to stick around the 20 minute mark sometimes it may go over to like 25 or something but i'm trying not to like include too much where it seemed like okay girl we won't go time to be watching all that type thing <laughs> so i know sometimes i get like that like the only reason i'll sit there and watch a really long vlog like more than 30 minutes 
I'm like either cleaning up while watching or I'm, you know, got time to sit down and eat and watch or, you know, something like that. So just let me know down below if you made it this far. And if you like, um, like if you prefer vlogs like 20, 25 minutes or less or more than that, okay? Let me know. I'm about to run inside this gas station and I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye, y'all.